Morning, Chargers, and welcome to our March 9th edition of DP News. I'm Olivia Devenny. And I'm Nandini Braganza. On today's show, we'll be sharing news about the IB program, Grease Pole, volunteer opportunities, and more. DP, DP News starts now. <laughs> Seniors, the famous Dos Pueblos tradition is nearly upon us. Grease Pole is Friday, March 18th. Sign up with your team of three at hpt slash double slash tinyurl.com slash dpgrease16. There is a mandatory meeting for all participants on Monday, March 14th in P2. Don't miss it. Another message for seniors. In order to be eligible for the Community Service Award of 200 hours plus, you must turn in your hours by April 27th. All seniors must turn in their minimum of 60 hours of community service that is required for graduation by May 20th. For questions or concerns, please visit the Career Center. Speaking of community service, the Pi Day celebration at the Downtown Library is seeking volunteers from 4 to 7 p.m. on Monday, March 14th. Pi Day is an international celebration of math, and it's a great opportunity for kids to build a positive attitude around numbers. You will receive community service credit from the library. Please contact Tom Besand, MS, at 805-967-0469 or Ruth Wishgrand, MED, at 805-722-5757. A fraction of you might be interested in running numbers, but maybe you'd rather just stick to running. Here's your chance to be a part of the Santa Barbara Triathlon volunteer team. This will be happening the weekend of August 26th through 28th. They have a wide variety of positions, and in addition to community service hours, every volunteer gets a triathlon t-shirt, a Zotto's coupon, and a chance to win a Channel Islands kayak trip for two. This will be on East Beach on August 26th through 28th, with a wide variety of shifts available between the hours of 5.15 a.m. and 6.15 p.m. Contact Carlina Gonzalez at 805-682-1634 or volunteer at santabarbaratriathlon.com. Sophomores interested in the IB Baccalaureate Diploma Program should come to H15 this Friday, March 11th at lunch for a question and answer meeting. Applications for the program are available at the switchboard office in the front office, for Mr. Sofro in the counseling office, and Mr. Moran in H15. Completed applications should be returned to both of those locations as well. No later than Friday, March 25th. Don't miss out on this chance to enrich your academic exp experience. That's all your campus news chargers. Thanks for tuning in. Olivia Nandini signing out. Now we're to Lizette with the weather. Today's temperatures will be 71 degrees in Santa Barbara, tomorrow's temperatures will be 72 degrees, and Friday's temperatures will be 60 degrees with a 90% chance of rain. Goleta's temperatures will be 70 degrees today, 72 degrees tomorrow, and 58 degrees on Friday with a 100% chance of rain. What did the bartender say to the jumper cables? I'll serve you, just don't start, any don't start anything. Now over to the coolest dude, dude around with, and is a and is apprentice with the sports. <laughs> What's up Chargers, I'm Jeffrey Chow. And I'm Dallas Flannery here with your sports report. Boys Volleyball won their first game of the season yesterday in a straight set of 25-16, 25-13, 25-15. Eli Wolpat and Elliot Brainerd led the team with Eli having 12 kills and Elliot having 9 kills and 2 blocks. And you know, your boy Dallas Flannery chipped in with 3 kills and a block of his own. The guys' next game is on Thursday at Royal High School. Boys Tennis played yesterday against Newberry Park, and our Chargers battled hard, fighting the win in the deep Newberry Panthers. The Chargers had chances with five close double sets, but ultimately could not convert. 
Even at the end in the last set, the Chargers kept up the battle. Ryan and Christian Hodesay climbed back from a 1-4 to four to push the set to a tiebreaker, but fell 10-12 to 12 in the tiebreaker. Boys tennis is now 2-2 two two overall in the season. Our boys golf team traveled to Valencia to face the Valencia Vikings. They beat them with a score of 424 to 447. The, the lower score always wins. Good job, boys. The DP Winter Guard and Winter Drumline will be having their second competition of the season this Saturday, March 12th at Arvine High School, all the way down in Bakersfield, so be sure to wish them luck. Dive in all on over to our pools to support Speed Swim up. and Dive team against San Luis Obispo today at 2 o'clock. Also tomorrow, come to our field to support our boys' baseball team against the Westlake Warriors at 3 o'clock. Show our boys your support and cheer on our anchor, Peter Apple. Good job, Peter Apple. Our boys and girls team lacrosse team both traveled to Royal High School to face their third match of the season on Thursday. That's all for your sports report, DP. Now over to Lizette with her friend. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. A group of Santa Barbara area experts gathered last week to discuss the current epidemic of prescription drug abuse. The event was meant to offer practical tips for college students, parents, educators, and others on how to save the lives of those abusing prescription painkillers. According to the 2014-2015 California Healthy Kids Survey taken in the Santa Barbara Unified School District by 9th and 11th graders, 31% of freshmen and 53% of juniors use alcohol or drugs. Currently, Santa Barbara County is looking at passing a drug take-back ordinance. That's all for today, DP. I'm Ann Bailey, signing out.